Have you ever wondered what would happen if people start to mindlessly persecute diplomats for their self-justified causes? On January the 27th, 1973, Turkish Council General Mehmet Baydar and Council Bahadur Demir were invited to meet an Iranian man at this hotel behind me here in Santa Barbara. The man asked the diplomats to reclaim a painting stolen from an Ottoman Sultan about a hundred years ago. But instead of the painting, the diplomats received nine gunshots from an Armenian assassin. The cold-blooded murderer Gurgan Yanikyan reported his crime to the police and turned himself in. The 77-year-old assassin admitted that he killed the diplomats to draw attention to the so-called Armenian genocide. Baydar and Bahadur were the first diplomats to be killed by an Armenian nationalist. The attack inspired the founding of the Armenian Secret Army for the Liberation of Armenia, also known as Asala, a designated terrorist organization. And attacks on Turkish diplomats continued. On January 28, 1982, two Armenian terrorists, Hamping Sasonian and his accomplice, shot Turkish Consul General Kemal Arukan 14 times right at this intersection while he was on his way to work. Susanian was found guilty of first-degree murder. His accomplice escaped justice. After serving 38 years in prison, on March 11th, the terrorist was released on parole. The move was strongly condemned by the Turkish government, while the US government expressed its disappointment. It will set a very dangerous precedent uh, for the security of the diplomats around the world, uh, which may uh, provoke or embolden uh, people such as Sasunyan with uh, radical and violent tendencies to settle their own scores with the representatives of other countries. The assassinations of Turkish diplomats in Los Angeles were just the beginning of terror by Armenians. Armenian terror groups Asala and JCAG assassinated 31 Turkish diplomats and 58 citizens across the world. The attacks ceased after the years of suffering faced by the Turkish Foreign Service personnel and the diaspora. But the scars and the fear those incidents caused in the Turkish communities continue to remain. To remember and honor the diplomats, the Turkish Directorate of Communications has put together this exhibition. The exhibition not only shows the Armenian assassinations of Turkish diplomats and terror attacks with photographs and evidences, but also illustrates how Armenian felons had escaped justice and 16 countries responsible for the protection of those diplomats failed to do their duties. The dispute over the 1915 events has been going on for over 100 years now. Armenia claims 1.5 million Armenians died during the mass deportations along Turkey's eastern borders. Turkey acknowledges the suffering of Armenians but disputes the claims of genocide. According to Turkey, between 1912 and 1922, around 3 million people died in the region, including Turks, Kurds and Jews. An estimated 300,000 to 600,000 of them were Armenians. Turkey has opened its Ottoman archives and urged Armenia and other countries to do the same for an impartial study into the claims made by Armenians. But so far, Ankara's calls remains unanswered.